What are we expecting in light of what we're seeing here? And again, we just got this statement just posted by the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence, uh, uh, and you and I are both reading through it as we go here. What, what were we expecting here from uh, James Comey in light of what we've seen reported here over these last couple, couple days, Kevin? Yeah, well, I mean, this, this is actually a pretty thorough statement in terms of, of talking about the narrative of what happened in some of his encounters, and, and uh, it, you know, it kind of reads like a, you know, not, not novel, but, you know, there's, there's, there's a real narrative quality to, to, to what he's talking about. So um, he seems to be trying to lay out the facts of it without trying to come to too many judgments, but obviously there seems to be enough in here that you can start to draw some conclusions about, you know, some of, uh, uh, some of these uh, incidents which he thought uh, verged uh, uh, on being inappropriate and, and seemed seem to make him a little uncomfortable. I'm going to continue reading from it here, if, if I could, Kevin. I'll get you to respond to, to what James Comey is expected to say uh, tomorrow. Yeah. He says, prior to that January 6th meeting, I discussed with the FBI's leadership team whether I should be prepared to assure President-elect Trump that we were not investigating him uh, personally. He continues. That was true. We did not have an open counterintelligence case on him. We agreed I should do so if circumstances warranted. During our one-on-one -on -one meeting at Trump Tower, based on President-elect Trump's reaction to the briefing without him directly asking the question, I offer that assurance. That's some news here, uh, Kevin. Of course, the President has said repeatedly that on three separate occasions, uh, former FBI Director James Comey did assure him that he was not under investigation. I'm going to continue reading here, but certainly a piece of news there that, in fact, unsolicited, the former FBI Director did offer that information to the President of the United States. Yeah, absolutely, and that's something obviously that is going to make the president's people very happy to hear. Um, there's a fair amount of qualifiers, I believe, that you can start reading into that statement. But um, I imagine you're going to hear uh, perhaps the president himself, and certainly a lot of his uh, uh, surrogates out there, uh, making the point that, uh, see, look, this is uh, this is this is what was said. At the same time, it's very clear that there's some uh, a number of other passages in here talking about some conversations and some 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 moments that uh, where, where Comey felt uh, were, were not appropriate and were, were uncomfortable when it came to some of the kinds of conversations, particularly when talking about sort of asking for loyalty, uh, um, and, uh, and that's very much as it had been, sounds like uh, from Comey's description here, very much as it has been reported in, uh, in media reports uh, from a few weeks ago.